Zoe, and I've got three new t-shirt cutting designs for you. So welcome to my channel, or welcome back. For this tutorial, you will need one oversized shirt, two tight-fitting shirts, a pair of scissors, and something to mark your clothing. First, the cropped tank top. Put your shirt on inside out and mark the edge of your shoulders. Lay the shirt flat and make sure your marks are even. Starting at your shoulder marks, cut off the sleeves, following the shape of the seam. Now starting with a small hole, carefully cut off the collar. Grab one of the sleeves and line it up with the bottom of the armhole. Mark the length. Cut your shirt at least this long. Next, the racerback tank top. Put the shirt on inside out and mark where your collarbones hit the collar of the shirt. Lay the shirt flat and draw a curved line from below the sleeve to your collar marks on each side. Start cutting from underneath the sleeve through both layers, stopping at the collar. Flip the collar over and continue to cut on the back layer. Be careful not to cut through the collar. Cut around the collar to finish removing the sleeve. And repeat on the other side. If you have extra space on the sides, grab the bottom of the armhole and fold it inwards. Last up, the convertible halter top. Put the shirt on inside out and mark how low you want the neckline. Then mark how deep you want the open back. Lay the shirt out flat and draw a v-neck using your neckline mark and the edge of your collar. Cut out the new neckline on the top layer then continue cutting the rest of the collar off in the back. Flip the shirt over and starting from the bottom of the sleeve, draw a curved line through your back mark connecting to the other side. Put your hand inside the shirt and cut through the back layer only. Turn the shirt back and carefully start cutting around the sleeves. Flip the shirt again so it's back side up. If the armholes are still attached to the back, cut these pieces. Fold the top part of the back upwards and lay it flat. Use this fabric to create the straps. Draw out the straps and cut out the middle part. Stretch the straps. Here are two different ways to tie this halter, but I'm sure you can find some more. Twist each strap inwards until tight.
then tie behind your neck. Another way is to cross the straps in front and then tie behind the neck. And that's it! Thank you so much for watching! If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know and check out my Instagram, at anorthodol. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking here, or you can watch another one of my videos by clicking over here.